Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the FIFA 20 Sunderland career mode. So, in this episode, we have Rotherham United in the Carabao Cup fourth round. It's going to be a sim game, ladies and gentlemen. So, we are opening this episode with a sim game. Moving into the Premier League, I'm pretty sure we were, yeah, I'm pretty sure we were sixth and we are. So, we start sixth. We are seven points off top, which mm, is manageable. Um, if I'm being honest though... Top four is our objective this season. So, again, if I finish fourth, then I'm happy with that. If I finish fifth or sixth, then I think the board might be a little bit lenient um, and just sort of, you know, keep us on the job for next season. But apart from that, there's no other uh, competitions that we really need to be concerned with apart from the Champions League. And we are comfortably winning our group as expected. So, that being said, let's jump into this Rotherham game. All right, so the Rotherham United in the Carabao Cup. You might notice as well that my voice is a little bit different. I'm using a compressor as well as noise reduction. So hopefully, you know, audio quality is a little bit better and you don't hear any of the um, background noise such as my computer fan or anything like that. So yeah, moving into this sim game, we are 2-0 up already. Um, De Bruyne and Ayoma getting the goals. Um, you know what? I'm just going to let this I'm just going to let this run out. Haaland 3-0. This is good. This is good. Any, do you want to get a fourth, boys? Maybe? Max Aaron's mm, got sent off. Okay. Kim Bjorka with the fourth. That's beautiful. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 4-0 victory. Um, yo, the boys are putting in the work. Another sim game against Bournemouth as we have Manchester City and Ajax coming up. So I'm playing those two games. Uh, so yeah, going with the first team against Bournemouth. Let's just advance. And again, skip. It's a 3-1 victory. I'm very happy with that. Greenwood, Yanazai, and St. Maximan getting the goals. And Laconia, I want to say, um, getting Bournemouth's goal. I mean, yeah, it's good, it's good. Champions League time, ladies and gentlemen, and it is Ajax. So, rotation team comes in. Dembele there up to 85. He's looking really, really good right now. Max Aaron's up to 86. Everyone else looking okay. Bolly Mumba there up to 83 as well. I've just noticed that, but... Let's get into this game, boys, and see how much, see how many we can put past Ajax this time. Oh, that's a beautiful pass by Ruben Samud out to Karamoko Dembele. A cross comes in. It's Mohamed Hassan, and it's 1-0 already. Rivic coming forward. Plays a 1-2. Tackle by Ayoma. Kim Yoga. Step over. Boom. Straight away. Loses his man. I see Mohamed Hassan in the middle. He volleys it into the bottom corner, puts it away with a plum. He's on for a hat-trick, ladies and gentlemen. It's looking good. So second half has kicked off, ladies and gentlemen, and it's been a pretty um, easy first half. Ajax have had a few chances, but bazunu has been more than equal to saving them. Um, they haven't really had that many chances. Obviously, they've had chances, but they've only had, like, say, two or three. Um, again, Bazunu has been equal to all of them. I mean, it's stuff like this that Ajax um, just keep getting wrong. De Bruyne is through for Mohamed Hassan. He's going to slot this away for three. That's his hat trick, ladies and gentlemen. What else can we say? Like, Ajax just... It's always the counter-attack. Kim Yoga. Mumba. Ruben Samud. Ruben Samud! Oh, what a finish! What an absolute thunderbolt into the top corner. Oh my word. Oh my absolute god. Oh, I'm watching this again. Boom. Have some of that. <laughs> oh my word. I wish the camera would stop glitching out. But what a strike that is. Ruben Samud. Take a fucking bow. Brandon Williams picks this up. Into Mohamed Hassan. That's his fourth of the match. <laughs> I tried. I tried to flick it. <laughs> I tried to flick it up and volley it. I don't know why I tried that. I don't know why I did that. I really don't. But either way, it is 5-0. And Mohamed Hassan gets himself the match ball. I still don't know why these cameras are glitching. And I think it's a FIFA bug. Um, either way, he got one of the match. He's got four goals for you guys. Um, that was an absolute masterclass from Mohamed Hassan. 
But yeah, 10 rating for him, 9.4 there for Dembele and Kimbioka, 9.2 there for De Bruyne, 9.5 for Samut, 9.3 for Mumba. That is a really good, that was an absolute incredible performance. Manchester City now at the Etihad Stadium in the Premier League, ladies and gentlemen. We're going with the first team. Reese James there up to 87. 87. Haaland up to 91. I love this team. I absolutely love this team. Don't forget that we do have Alfonso Davies uh, coming in, um, as well as Gabriel Martinelli. So it's just going to strengthen the team even more. So I'm expecting a close game against City here. Um, I say close, right? This is going to go one of two ways. I'm sorry, but I got the ball. Anyway, um, this is going to go one of two ways. Um, it's either going to be a whitewash for either side. Or it's going to be a really close game. Because I'm expecting Manchester City to give us an, like a game here. Um, kind of like how Liverpool did. So, to be fair, we'll see what happens. Reese James on the counter-attack here. Let's just leave this in the video. Um, he's going to get his shot off maybe. Fernandinho, really good tackle. Despite him being, what, 37 now in this career mode save. Um, so, to be fair to him, he's still playing. He's still there. Rodri, Marcos Llorente, Aguero still playing, Bernardo, I mean, fair, absolutely fair, City have still got a strong team, um, but now we'll see how this match plays out. St. Maximan, volley, volley. The rainbow flick volley into the far corner <laughs> from Alan St. Maximan. <laughs> He's just completely challenged Ruben Samut for the for the uh, the Thunderbolt goal for goal of the episode. Like, holy shit. Let's go 1 0. Reese James picks this up. Inside to Tito Fernandez. He's got time and space. To get the shot off into two, the bottom corner for 2 0. That is Tito Fernandez, ladies and gentlemen. We, I mean, no relation to Bruno Fernandez, but it is, it is what it is. It is Tito Fernandez for 2 0. Yanazai into Haaland. Into Yanazai, back into Haaland. Across the edge of the box. It's Tito Fernandez at the back post with the header for three. This is Tito Fernandez. Can't skip away from Bernardo Silva, though. Back into Aguero. Ampadu's with him. It's Marcos Llorente. It's Javier. And it's 3-1. That was... I, I think that was an Ampadu mistake. I'm not going to lie. That's two he's made since signing. Either way, the German wonder kid does get on the score sheet for Manchester City. Crossfield. What a crossfield pass that is to Bernardo Silva. He's got time and space here. He's up against Denver Hume. He does manage to get the cross in. It's up towards Milik. But we do manage to get it away. Counter-attack, maybe. Uh, over the top for Erling Haaland. Into Greenwood. Sweat. Is he onside? He is. It's 4-1. And Tito Fernandez was your man of the match with a 9.5 rating. Everyone else did pretty well. Uh, Haaland on, on a 9.3. St. Maximan and Reese James on an 8.6. They're linked pretty well down the right-hand side. Um, especially on the defence. Um, Mason Green with that 8.2. Everyone else on an average rating. All right, guys. And Spurs have come in for Tafet Tan Jaffet Tanganga uh, for £33 million. Um, if I'm being honest, we I'm pretty sure we bought him from Spurs, if I remember correctly. Or he spent time... He, he's at Spurs in real life, anyway. Um, that being said, uh, £33 million when his value is 34 I'm going to go ahead and reject that because... I don't really want to get rid of Tanganga. What I do want to do is check his contract length uh, in Squad Hub uh, because that offer was a little bit low. Tanganga still has three years left on his contract, um, which is quite surprising there. Um, why they just offer 33 million. Maybe they'll come back with a bigger offer. We don't know. All right, guys, and one final sim game of this episode. It is Wolves in the Premier League at home. They lost their last match to Newcastle United 2-1. So I'm looking for a victory here. Donnarumma injured, not substituted. Going to go ahead and skip. 
It's a 2-1 victory with Origi and Hume getting sent off. That's fair. We, you know, again, I'll take a 2-1 victory. Donnarumma's injury hopefully isn't that bad. All right, guys. So Donnarumma's injury was only a pulled muscle. He'll be out for a few days, um, which means he will miss this next group game against Fenerbahce, who are bottom of the Champions League group. Uh, they have a minus 15 goal difference. Uh, we have definitely won this group now. There's no way we're losing this group. Um, so we are confirmed through to the next round, which is very good for us. I might just sim the next couple of games, or I might just play the Fenerbahce and then sim the, sim the sixth one uh, against Dortmund. Um, apart from that, if we check the Carabao Cup for our next tie, it's Brighton, a championship side, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not in the Prem. I could be mistaken. They aren't. They're still in the Prem. They are 14th. All right. So... That being said, it's Premier League opposition then. In that case, I will play it. Um, yeah, we've moved up to fourth, which is what our objective needs to be this season. Um, with victories, obviously, against Wolves, Manchester City, and the other team that we played. I can't remember who they were. Um, but, yeah, my memory's terrible. You get used to it on this channel. But, yeah, nah. Fourth place, I'm happy with that. I'm definitely happy with that. We are just a point behind City, three points behind Manchester United, and five points behind Spurs. It looks like Spurs are definitely pushing for the title this season. Um, going towards the bottom of the table, just to quickly have a look, Brentford is still bottom on two points, Aston Villa on three, Crystal Palace on five. It's still technically early days yet, we are only approximately a third of the way through the season, so there's nothing really to worry about yet for those teams. But the only team I'm worried about is Newcastle United, and I want them to get relegated, I don't think they, that, that they will. But, moving back where we are, we're fourth, I'm happy with that, so yeet. If you have enjoyed this episode, drop a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated if you are new around here. Hit that subscribe button and the notifications icon so you know when I release new content or go live. Like I say, guys, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.